What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the first episode of a brand new campaign playing as Bavaria. So this is in Darth Mod, I've started the game in custom and that is that has allowed me to play as Bavaria. We have the additional units mod installed which should be pretty interesting, it'll mix up Bavaria a bit more. And the reason why Bavaria is being played is because when with the vote to replace my Great Britain campaign, because the Sp my Spanish campaign also hadn't finished fairly hot on the heels of that rather than hold a new vote I just picked the second the second winner of the second place I should say um, but yes we, so we start off with one region in Germany well, West Germany yeah, Germany southern Germany and we have to well, we're gonna do a true world domination hard hard campaign difficulty no description because this this faction isn't normally playable but let us start the campaign so we have to be really really careful because we only have one region we need to pick our enemies carefully so firstly what I want to do is get my gentleman into Coburg my university so here we are we have in terms of diplomacy we are allied with Austria and we're allied with Spain so we want to keep that going because if we ally with Austria, that will protect our eastern flank and it will prevent Venice from potentially attacking us from the south because they'll be crossing Austrian territory. So Württemberg on the, to the west is a tempting target. But they're also allied with Austria and we're very friendly with them, so it's in our interest to secure trade with them. Because it's a... We don't want to declare war on Württemberg. We don't want to risk the Austrian alliance at all. So with that... Bearing in mind, we could go for Venice, but I think the better vector, I think, is to go for Dresden and Berlin. Push north and become the new head of a, a German empire. So we've got our... Actually, let's have a, so Westphalia. They're also allied with Austria and Hanover and Württemberg, so it would be good to try and secure trade with them. No, they're not giving it to us, so let's offer to give them a cool grand good we could potentially trade with saxony but we're not interested poland will be at war with austria fairly soon so the, the risk of having the risk of poland's ally or saxony's ally poland getting involved in the action that's not actually that much of a issue for us um so my school we're going to go down the military tax off the back because we are trying to establish an empire against quite a few Factions which will try very hard to kill us. I'm gonna. Okay, so if I stick with my army encampment, interesting that the wild. There's a unit of, called the Wild Dragoons that I can't actually get if I upgrade. But I, I will want to upgrade because it gives us line infantry, but I'm not gonna be able. I'm not gonna wait to get machined rifle. No, not machine rifling. I'm not going to wait to get carbines, but can I, does that mean, do I lose them forever if I do that? I'm not going to try, I'm trying not to spoil anything, I'm just looking at the, th looking at the, uh, the unit cards. I think I do, I potentially lose that unit for good. So somewhere I'm going to need to keep an army encampment to recruit some cool units. Um, but we have Lothar von Tungen as our general's bodyguard. We have a demi cannon unit and two units of militia. Let's get some cobbled roads on the go. Let's actually, before we go too mad, yeah, let's go policies. So we are a absolute monarchy. So we definitely want to crank down the the uh, tax levels on the lower classes to try and spur pop growth. And I might even drop upper classes down a factor because we're still getting three grand, and that's quite a lot. If I drop it down all the way, Munich's growing without any research at all. That might be a good decision to make, to crank the policies down really low. Because we're still over north of 3,000. Our tax is really low, but we're getting some good amount of trade and some other income. I'm not quite sure why. Conservatorium would be useful. Well, we don't necessarily need the Enlightenment tax, but it's good to get the, put the growth per turn in town wealth because I am going to let's get some Prushnik Prushenk horse 
try not to recruit more than two unit, more than one turn ahead. I don't think we want to get our spy over towards Dresden because we want to take the city. The declaring on Dresden may or may not. Yes, yeah, so it might call in Poland. Might start to jump into problems with Berlin. But one thing that is quite useful is there's a lot of towns, a lot of universities in this area. So if possible, I'd like to try and take these two territories, maybe Hanover, and I'll have created a German state. Then try and pick on, which well, to be honest, it'll probably be head east and finish off Poland and Prussia. Uh, but keeping an eye on our French ally, quote-unquote, to the west. Berlin would be useful because it gives us access to trade routes. Venice would be useful, but I think it's more worthwhile fighting up here, at least where our Austrian allies could actually help. But yeah, I go for plug bayonets, canister shot, square formation, that kind of stuff. I think that's the right way to go about it. We've not spent all of our cash. Oh, I'm going to get the barracks on the go. Let's start to try and get good infantry. Ally attacked. So the United Provinces has attacked Spain. So that would potentially pit me against Austria. So I'm going to decline and break my alliance with Spain. Yeah, because it's ally attacked. That would be Spain, because I am allied with Spain. It's nothing to do with Austria over here, so decline. I do not want to be involved. I want to keep Austria sweet for as long as possible. I don't want to go for them. We've got when we have uh, alternative targets. I think that's the right decision. Oh, I didn't do my ministers. It's not going to be too problematic. One turn, I'm missing a turn of uh, decent ministers, but there we are. Ministers, ministers, ministers. So, a head of government's pretty good. So, plus one management, plus one justice, plus one management, plus one treasury, plus one management. He might be good for the justice minister. So, let's swap them around off the bat. Yeah. My treasury guy's got nothing. My army guy's equal. He, he adds happiness to lower classes, but in terms of his management skill, he doesn't provide anything. My navy guy is going to stay my navy guy for now. So I'm not necessarily looking to... Okay, ooh, plus one navy. Ooh, you're, okay, you're plus... Two, you'll be plus two navy, more so than this guy. Okay, let's do a direct swap. Philip Han. Plus one management, plus one army. So you're going to be my army guy, I would imagine. Plus one treasury. Right, okay. So Philip Han. Plus one management, plus one management for the army administrations. So he's going to go here. Leopold Tolbert. Talbert, Talbert, Talbert. Plus one management for the treasury, plus one management, plus one happiness lower classes. He is going to replace my treasury. Actually, what I might want to do is just you get rid of these guys and then put Leopold in there. Good. So let's recruit a couple more units. Don't need a huge amount. Because we're going to push, well next turn we're probably going to push on to Dresden. And then as we push on Dresden we're going to keep recruiting in Munich and sending up, send those troops up to the front. To maintain the attack. Because I definitely would like Berlin. I think I'd probably take Dresden, destroy the school. Because we'll, we want to try and more rapidly move north. So we don't want to have uh, issues around public order. Jürgen Schmidt. Yeah, my agent's in there. Prince Albrecht Chevaux Leger. Interesting. Provincial Cav. Okay, so that's a stack. March up to the front. We'll move forward next turn and bring in reinforcements. Our barracks is going to be done this turn. Actually, am I going to lose that cavalry unit? Yeah, let's go lose that cavalry unit, but I'll... Okay, in which case, then I probably want to... How many cavalry have I got? Now we'll have three cavalry units. That's pretty good. Before we lose the Prushenk horse. But they are mercenary cavalry, so I don't expect them to... Well, they weren't going to last for too long. Let's build the iron workshops. 
Okay, next turn when we've got movement points, we'll go for the city. And we'll not call in our allies, because Austria will be at war with Poland Lithuania at some point anyway. Because I don't I just don't want to give Austria a chance to get out <laughs> to um, get around their legal obligations being our allies. I don't like Württemberg building up their strength like that. Good, so that's plug bayonet done. Go for ring bayonet, because at least we don't have to then make the decision to go melee or not. Don't go for that yet. You, good sir. Oh, we have to go around these woods. If I move you to here. Does, I wonder if you can get to Dresden in one turn. Push the militia up. Oh, I lost recruitment of the cavalry because... Right, okay. Got a couple of infantry units. Push on. 1800 per turn. When we take Dresden, that'll really help. We'll want to build the Royal Observatory when the time comes. Let's hit end turn. Ooh, Austria's raiding, so now's the time to attack. Because if we attack, ooh, I hope I hope Austria doesn't screw us over and take Dresden. Because this whole thing was predicated on being able to sprint. Especially now. Holy Moses. Declare war, don't call in the allies. Doesn't matter if we're at war with just Poland. If they if Austria attacks, we will not join them. Yeah, if Austria attacks, we'll we'll leave them to their fate. Let's get a Royal Observatory built. Got 1300 in our treasury, 1200 next turn is coming, but that's okay. We've got nothing really we need to build. Oh, Augsburg. Augsburg. Augsburg is growing, which we'll probably want to build into a happiness building to counteract the school. Okay, recruitment. That's my line infantry being built. We don't need to recruit anything else. Yeah, if, if Austria goes for the city, we will not support them. But I think it would be neat if I attack for them to come and support us. So I'll, I won't wait for my line infantry. I'll move in with what I've got. Because if I wait for my line infantry, we won't be able to advance. You take Dresden. I can combine militia units that aren't fully at full strength. And those that are still at, aren't at full strength, they'll fall back to Munich to garrison the capital. Upgraded the iron workshops. What I can do... Oh, you can make it, but I'm not going to let you... Ugh. Okay, so just in case this screws me over... Siege the city. Good. I want to siege the city first and then see if I can attack. Uh, let's just make sure there's nothing we need to do. In terms of our tech, we're okay. So they get a good amount of garrison line. We have our Austrian ally under a very capable commander. But to be honest, we've got a plenty big enough force to take the city. So no fancy artillery. No fancy um, infantry formations. Just advance, surround. I'm interested actually to see how well we can take the city because I would like to try and blitz on into uh, Berlin, but there's, there'll be a limit how well we can do that. Okay, I'm planning to destroy the school because I consider it not particularly necessary at this point. So, regular militia in Bavaria look like regular militia. They're not bad. Then let's look at this type of militia unit, which looks like more like infantry, line infantry models, but with the same sort of behaviour and formations. We have some Landwehr militia, which look pretty neat, I think, with their um, Davy Crockett hats. Very much uh, more uh, North American look to me. And in terms of the line infantry, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not what I expected, but actually that's not bad. And then the Prushenk horse. Uh, they don't stand up to their... Oh no, I suppose it's... In my head I imagine them a bit bluer, but looking at the 
the thumbnail, I realised that's me being dumb. <laughs> so let's... Okay, let's put our um, line infantry in the centre. A land there and regular militias are going to push the right flank. Our uniformed militia are going to push the left. A unit of Prushank horse on each flank. Leopold in the centre. There we go. Our ally is coming in from the left. Gun the Prushank horse forward. They've got their mortars firing. I mean, the, the allies that are coming in aren't actually that strong because they've been fighting before. But they are coming in. Provincial Cavalry, General's Bodyguard. Oh, yeah, I did want my militia to fight the cavalry, but because there's a. My, I, would, I didn't want my Prushenk horse to hit the cavalry, but as there's only two of them. Let's take my infantry and push them up quick. See, come on. Looks like the enemy, uh, the Austrians are forcing a cavalry charge. They are, they're going after the 1st Regiment of Militia. Meanwhile, my infantry are opening up. You men be damned. Fit to your plug, bayonets, because the garrison and militia are coming your way. You fit your plug bayonets as well. Don't turn down the opportunity to bayonet charge the enemy. You men push up to support the Austrians. My mercenary cavalry have got in. Focus on the 3rd Regiment because they're upset. So our troops will have the edge because we have our bayonets equipped. Attack them to make sure they're shattered and then come back and attack the 1st Regiment. You men put on your plug bayonets and charge the 3rd Regiment. This unit of Prushank horse has not got involved. My militia and everyone on the left flank are doing well. I want to take out the 1st Regiment of Foot so I can roll my infantry along and attack the 3rd and the Firelock Arm Citizenry. There we go, so my one unit of militia is going to hold off two full enemy units. Well, actually, my Prushenk horse push on. Push on into the General's bodyguard specifically. My left flank with their conventional behaviours doing well. One of my militia units charged into the rear there. Okay, you guys all have your bayonets fitted, so you're all just going to be charging into the enemy. Push up to the gun line. To be honest though, it looks like the only one left is their general. All these, this infantry with their bayonets attached, although I suppose the units that don't have bayonets modelled on them. Like the unit, I'm thinking of the units that, you know, fight with hatchets or swords. Well, that's Austrian. Don't attack them. There you go, get my cavalry. to pin the General's Bodyguard. Get my infantry, which for, for all intents and purposes now are being are acting like pikemen. There you go, the General is down. 
So the Saxon troops are falling en masse. Hurrah! So Dresden is taken. We can repair, rebuild. There we go. So they don't have permission to cross into our lands, it would appear. So cheers for the battle winning support, but you know, clear off. Okay, so these units that are weaker want to fall back to my capital. Eh, my weakest militia... Well, none of my blue militia units are actually that weak. So you men can replenish. This force can be dispatched back to Munich for repairs. We can destroy the school because we're not, we're not interested in developing Dresden. We want it to be stable so I can push it on and try and uh, take take out the Prussians. So Dresden's currently minus five. It should get better once we've rebuilt everything and partially better when we've knocked down the school. Two turns we get uh, sort of ring bayonet. And part of the reason why I'm okay with demolishing the school is because Prussia has a college here in Magdeburg. So... Yeah, I may as well accept that I'm not going to be in Dresden for a huge amount of time before I push north and hit Berlin and then claim an even better educational building that I haven't got to spend money on. So I have to join this battle because, I mean, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to back up Austria, I'm going to do my part. I have no border to worry about with the Ottomans. If the Ottomans start pushing through Austria, then it would behoove me to uh, march south and start to fight them, I think. So Hanover, hopefully, isn't going to get up to any trouble. Works on strike in Saxony. Yeah, they're, they're immediately okay. I have to remember, we are Catholic. Okay, so you're going to pick up a barracks upgrade, 18 hunt, to be honest, I might not even be able to really let you guys go back. You may be required for the attack on Berlin. 2,000 a turn, that's not bad. Hanover. Lots of allies with people, they don't really care about us. Let's trade. There's a major nations, we can trade with Prussia but they hate us. But we're not at war yet. Can't, you know, can't declare war on us. Okay, so one more turn to get ring burnouts. So that'll be very useful. Square formation would be good, but it's almost not so important because we've got bayonets. At least at this point, there aren't really that many heavy cavalry opportunities. Or risks or threats, I should say. Not really opportunities. If I do attack Berlin, I'm definitely going to siege Berlin. And let them attack us first, and then repel their repel their forces. Then, when they're weaker, march in and take them out. The bayonets would be a significant enabler. But I also really need to look at who are they allied with, because yeah, it's Hanover, Britain, and the Mughal Empire. So Hanover might fancy their chances. In which case, then, some support would be useful. I think I might have to just go for militia to bulk out the numbers. Um, might go for a church school, just to try and... Get a priest spawn so I can at least start to convert Berlin, Hanover, uh, to some territories to the east. It's not going to be massively important because most of these regions are just predominantly Catholic. I'd like you to try and knock out Leon Leopold von Anhalt Dessau. Got him. Oh, I've got two breaks, I two spies, I see. What? Wait a minute. How does that how's that happened? B 
bugs? <laughs> what? Okay, unexplained. I've never come across that ever. Um, but I'm going to use it. <laughs> oh, minus nine. That's not good. Minus seven becomes minus six. No, I can't use it. Okay, maybe a coaching in would be better. I mean, that's really weird with the agents. I mean, I've got 1,400 hours in Empire and I've never, never seen anything like that. Yeah, they want to make... They want to make friends. It's not going to happen. We're going to take Berlin, tax it, then we're going to be at risk from the east and the west because you've got the remnants of the Prussians over in Konigsberg, but at least they're bottled up by... Polish for now. This would be the concern, but I think I've got a good enough garrison here in Munich. I might, instead of researching carbines, which should have moved, I'm going to go on to canister shot. Let's upgrade you to a coaching in. So if I do that, so. If I do that, will it move out their garrison? <laughs> no, okay, right. <laughs> That's okay. I did wonder, like I was I, I was sure I only had one agent. So I got it was a bit weird that I had one in, in there, but I also killed this general as well. That was peculiar. Plus two for treasury, minus one for justice. I'm fairly sure you might actually be my justice minister. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, no, okay, that was the right guy. By well, the looks of it, we've got, actually got some really good guys here. 33, plus one justice, plus one treasury, plus one. Plus one treasury. I got to, oh, This guy's got to be my treasury minister. I'm sure he's better. So three star basic becomes five, six, seven, eight... Okay. I'm pretty sure that's an improvement. Plus one management, plus one management. So you're five star basic, so you might be good for the head of government. Plus one navy. This is plus, this guy's plus five navy, plus six navy. One, two, three, four, five, six. You've got less baggage. Plus one army, plus one man, treasury, plus one navy. Might go for this guy to replace Ralph Schley. Ball, ball de Frey. <laughs> I just realised. Ball de Frey. Leave of one, Bavarian alive. <laughs> Germany is never safe. Right. Okay, let's stop. Jibber jabbering. Let's get better roads built and hit end turn. Can't move on Berlin until my public order in Dresden sorts itself out, which will take a bit of time. Well, it'll take two turns until the uh, coaching inn is built. Alliance, you must be joking. Do not want to get dragged into unnecessary wars at the moment. I need to be careful with how I fight. So it's up to 1800 a turn. We've got a new military building to get line infantry. Not particularly necessary. Don't need any of this other stuff yet. You're just supplementing your forces in case you men get unhappy. Might get two more militia to sit in. Their job will be to sit in Dresden. In case the Hanoverian force decides to go for Dresden. But if they do, I can probably surge from Berlin straight to Hanover. So if they lay siege to one of my territories, I might be able to just knock them out in one go. Sweden wants an alliance. No. Not for now, Sweden. No, thank you. Uh-oh. Poland is pushing against Austria. 
So we might want to expand our strength sooner rather than later. I mean, it's not very... The, the, the pikemen are a bit of a concern. Coaching in in the Leipzig. Good. So now you men, Sans, I'm going to leave, the, yeah, leave these two militia. Becomes minus two. West European infantry mercenaries. Yeah, they're more expensive than just regular line infantry, so get two more of those. Then diplomacy, Prussia, declare war. Let's see if Britain and Mughal, the Mughal Empire join them. I might. First of all, what's Austria's stance on Prussia? They have no stance on Prussia, they trade with them. So I am not going to call them in. Yep, so I'm at war with everyone, including Hanover. So we have ceased trade with Hanover. Impacted government finances. It's mm, a lot of stuff. Let's siege them. Siege them. Hidden turn. We'll want to keep the ports on the northern coast of Germany garrisoned. Good, they're attacking us. So I wanted them to come at me while I can then send some cavalry around to flank and knock out their guns. Um, yeah, I'm going to want to keep the northern coast garrisoned because Britain will be attempting landings. And then we may see Hanover do some things. <laughs> if they go for... Munich, we're safe from the garrison with the garrison, but I think if they go for Dresden, they'll find a much trickier, um, maybe a bit trickier to defend. So I'm going to deploy. Okay, first of all, drop a set, drop our guns, slap bang in the middle of our line. So what I'm probably going to do. It, dep well, it depends how they've deployed. If they've deployed in our face, we are going to advance and flank. If they've deployed back, we're going to sit where we are for a while, spread the line out. I mean, they attack me, so I'm not going to move up. So the men on this side... Spread out... Yeah, they, they attack me. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry. What I am gonna do is move my general over to the right flank and speed up time. Yeah, I want them to push. I want them to push so I can push my cavalry on the left around and eviscerate their cavalry. They do have a unit of gendarmerie, so we might get a bit of spirited debate, but at the very least, that's what I wanted to see. Their mortar crew. Mortar crews have abandoned their guns. The bulk of their force is just regular infantry, so if I continue with my whole get around the flanks and start causing them to rout, then we can make them just collapse in on themselves like a dying star. So here comes their militia, their uh, mortar crews. Yeah, we engage them with fire. To be honest, I can probably stand to send all of my cavalry to do that job. And then also let my artillery just continue to fire at range. Well, first of all, fire another set of shots into these mortar crews. Then let's redress the line. Redress the line and push up a bit. You men run. Coming 
come back. Oh, let them. Artillery cease fire. Wherever they go, it's not going to cause trouble. So they got one unit of gendarmerie to the rear. But with our cavalry, we've got to knock out most of them. Oh, we've got a unit of line infantry still here. Let's get to work. You men run. So the reason I've sent two cavalry units is so that we can more reliably destroy the gendarmerie. Got the pikemen back here. That's what my guns can focus on. Okay, so this unit of militia advance them up the flank. Let's begin to knock out individual units. See, my line infantry is not they're not the best, but they're certainly capable. That's one way I would definitely describe our troops. My general's going to be here to try and pick up any units that route like that. There we go. Begin. Begin the surrounding. Let's bring the cavalry up at higher speed. The pikemen have gone into Pike Square formation, but they're not going to be defending anyone anytime soon. Bring the general forward. There we go. And if they wish to charge us, we have bayonets, so... No. Look at that. I hate when they do that. They start to string themselves out in one line. It's like, no, don't be silly. The Prussian cavalry attack the demi cannons. Then we've got. Everyone else is advancing. Oh, they're starting to see some shenanigans around. Are oh, they. They're not playing Darth Mod sounds? attack the demi cannons make sure they I'd ideally wipe them out okay you guys have to fight the gendarmerie kind of perfect because all of their guns are about to try and limber up that means we can more easily destroy the lot of them it is weird where it's kind of decided I'm pretty sure that's, that's the, um, the vanilla sounds. Okay, no, it's coming back. Attack their seekers. Because I don't... Yeah, we are these are mercenary cavalry. They aren't the best. Okay, my general might have to get involved here because those pikemen are going to cause trouble. Okay, let's try just keep just whack it a couple of times so it worked that time general's bodyguard attack no oh no wrong cavalry unit keep attacking saker general's unit charge the militia in the rear you guys attack the pikes general died immediately I was hoping I could get a bit more out of him keep fighting them So you men wipe out the guns. Good. Get back here and save the gendarmerie to the rear. The pikemen have been wiped out. So now you men can stand ready while my remaining general staff attack. As the new guys advance, you men form a line ready in case those guys come back. 
The guns attack that unit of militia right there. To the rear here, the 1st Regiment of Horse Gendarmerie. They are very upset. Okay, they're shattered. So let's give my mercenary cavalry units targets like these infantry units that will probably come back. But there we go, let's begin. So you guys are shooting the 7th Regiment in the flank. They could well come back because they've not lost many men. Yeah, like, exactly like that. You men fall back. You men pivot to face this militia unit. This, they're wavering. Still. I would like to try and get my cavalry around the flank to take out... Take out this unit of militia, or these units of militia. If we need to fall back to the um, gun line, then we will. But it looks like the 7th Regiment's upset, the 2nd Regiment of Militia are upset. New men mass charge the 3rd Regiment of Militia, they're weaker than the 5th. You men can make ready and fire. Okay, 11th are wavering and the 2nd are wavering, that's quite nice. Mow down the militia, so even though these are just mercenary cavalry, they're militia. They won't have bayonets, so they'll go down fairly well, fairly well. I was hoping for my, I could get my general staff in to pounce on some of their line infantry, but I don't think that's necessarily the best call. There we go. So that's the 3rd Regiment shattered. Charge on into the 5th. That will allow us to then bring these units to bear against the enemy right flank. Okay, they've already... Decided to relocate. So let's get ready to roll up our flank. You men chase them enough to make sure that they just don't think it's worth sticking around. Come on, shatter them! The third are wavering, but they would be wavering because they're being engaged. important thing is that we're going to have positional superiority. Good, they're shattered. I thought they came. Yeah, they are shattered. Infantry on the flank is not happy with what's going on, so we can... No, no, it's okay, infantry. We're going to pull back the right flank because we're going to push on the left. There we go. Yes, they might be advancing on this flank, but on the right flank, they've crumbled. The second are gone, the seventh are gone. Actually, you guys might stay like more like that. I didn't expect my general to die immediately after touching the pikes. I thought he might have a bit of a scrap with him at least. Okay, actually, let's... OK, 
Okay, for a minute there, I thought they came back. There we go, the enemy line continues to be engaged. My infantry is starting to run out of ammunition somewhat. They are running out of men. Because the armed citizenry unit is probably going to collapse fairly soon. I thought they might come back, hence the placement of these units in a more advantageous place. Let's send our light cavalry to chase them down. That unit, line, unit of line infantry is upset. Their centre is breaking. Very soon. I mean, the flank is definitely going to break, because look at that. Yep, yeah, there go the armed populace. The 3rd Regiment's going to go down fairly soon. There's only 80 of them left, so it'll take a handful of casualties and they will break. If they want to go hidden, they can go hidden. We will simply advance. One of you go after the Lion Infantry, the other one go after the Militia. The 11th Regiment. I'm going to go down too. Yeah, there they go. Maintain the push. How you feeling now, Militia? You're wavering too, huh? Get my gunners to try and shoot at you. You're broken as well. So we're going to continue the battle and just try kill as many as we can. We're not going to do anything too spectacular, but it's just going to be a case of just do what we can. We could get our infantry to chase people down, but it's just... Don't worry about that. You might knock out an infantry unit. Oh, they're going to they managed to escape. So now we want to prioritise infantry units, more so than militia. There you go on then. You all attack the 10th Regiment. They're going to be slaughtered to a man. So we are going to need to recruit a new general. It's going to eat into our finances a bit. Not, but not as much as it's going to uh, cut into the Prussian war machine that they've lost the garrison of Berlin, or at least they've significantly been, they've been significantly damaged. It's really, I think it looks like it looks like um, Poland's got Hungary. Maratha want an alliance? Nope. I know they're offering to give me money, but I don't want their money. Now what's Hanover going to do? Okay, we are probably... We can't withdraw. We're going to have to fight it. At the very least, this force is knackered. But this is a really good opportunity to push back the Hanoverians as well. Because the garrison force, don't worry about. We need to utilise our guns at this point. We don't want to advance ahead of our lone artillery unit. Then there's a chance that what we can do is combine our forces in Dresden and Munich and go put Hanover under siege, not to attack, but just to siege. That could be how we play this. You are not going to defend inside the town. We're going to put a gun team outside of the town here. My infantry are going to be deployed like so. My militia are going to be deployed here. This militia, well actually, the, the, an odd few units are going to scatter ahead with stakes, but 
the assumption... It, actually, to be honest, they do have a lot of cavalry coming in for Hanover. So if we assume they're going to be a bit silly, they're probably going to come straight at us like that. Unlimber the guns. Push the, position them a bit further forward. Fire it will off. So I didn't expect them to come in right behind us. Oh, the garrison of Dresden are here. Well, they are going to stand still right next to the line. If they go for them, we will simply retreat. I'm open to use them, but I don't want them to be bitten up and were chewed up and destroyed right off the bat. I'll keep my cavalry intact. My infantry are going to be here. Lickety split. I mean, I hope, I really do hope you aren't going to wait for the Austrians to come in and save your ass. Because that ain't going to happen. My cavalry need to be on the right flank to protect against the Hanoverian cavalry. Because our infantry units do not yet know how to form into square. Actually, I might keep you guys over here on the right to bolster my flank. The Prussians are going to be sufficiently low morale that it's not going to take a whole lot of shooting. To work out, they don't want to stay. I mean, if they bayonet charge us, A, that would be ballsy, but also it would be a bit futile because my guys are probably better in melee than theirs are because we have bayonets. And you do not. Actually, no, you guys, you guys aren't going to be needed like that, I don't think. Both folks on this unit of militia make them route. They do have square formation, though. Shows you where they're spending their research. May you men continue to engage the enemy. You men knock out this line infantry unit because they're pretty weak. Allow the Hanoverians. Oh, don't shoot that way. Shoot at them. Throw you guys in just to make sure the infantry do route. I can try and advance the map now. My militia might have a good shot against some of this cavalry. There we go. Push on into the rest of the army. There we go, Hanover. These are, your, these are the men you're going to die for. Not these true Germanic peoples to the south. Uh, 
They're not yet committing their main force. It's one last one last Prussian soldier dies. <laughs> Everyone else open fire. Fire in that fire against that militia unit right heading right down your muzzle. These units, once they've won, can focus on surrounding and destroying the flank. If if they will let us, we will very kindly run up to their general's bodyguard and begin shooting their general. Imagine to make one of my militia units route. Ideal, it's not ideal that they're the one that's closest to the edge of the map, but whatever. I'm keep attacking the enemy. Ah, they caught onto that. Very well. Maintain your advance, but stay at a safe distance. That militia units. Oh, you don't have canister shot. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, we've got some good kills on that militia unit. There we go. Advance up. Destroy the sixth. They are getting into position. Okay, there we go. So our garrison unit may well not survive that engagement. There is a chance that my reinforcements just get uh, pushed away, but at the very least they'll be damaging the main force in some useful manner. So the infantry are moving in, but the cavalry aren't. Can I send two units to try and break those men? But you guys need to come over onto the right. You men need to angle yourselves slightly better. Unfortunately, we're engaging one infantry unit at a time, but the, it is a unit of militia. Let's move you guys up to the flank like so to try and make the second unit route first. Okay, the cavalry is being committed. Now this is the challenge here. If we can destroy their cavalry. If we can surround and destroy their cavalry force. Now they're in combat with an actual infantry unit. Infantry force. You men push. You guys get over here to help. You men engage the militia. You men hop out front. Attack the cavalry. Attack the cavalry, because they're going down. Our Prushenk horse are actually doing quite well. Unfortunately, you guys didn't get involved when you could have done. So now those pikemen are going to do real damage. These men get over here, get my, hopefully my... Okay, get my cavalry to attack. The enemy, the cavalry that's on the flank isn't doing any good. The human have to push up. 
So you men push up and shoot them in the face. And I say push up properly. You men get over here as well. And militia starting to... Oh, it's wavering. That's the problem. That militia unit may come back. You men create a new front line. You push around the flank. Unfortunately, they are sending more cavalry in to fight against my cavalry there. You men, uh, the gendarmerie are going to break me. On this flank, you're routing. Both of you try and knock out the enemy gendarmerie. These men have returned. Shouldn't have tried to push them in too close to the Hanoverians, but I really just needed to try and... No, I think this is going to be a victory for Hanover. They're going to have relieved the uh, garrison, I think. We killed their general, but I don't think it's going to make enough damage. You men run through the defences, try and kill some of those troops. Get the garrison of Munich to run, to run. Get you guys to run. Everyone that can try to escape, try to escape. But this shows you the perils of early cavalry. Isn't bad. It's really not bad at all. But you men aren't doing what you need to do. Well, actually. You men get back. You're fighting the cavalry here. Okay, that cavalry unit routed, so you men run away as well. Didn't really want you guys to fight the general's bodyguard, but to be honest, I don't think I can. Flee. So when the general's bodyguard is... Okay, stand and fight against the enemy because you're at least tying them up. So that's Hanover routing there. General's bodyguard is routing. You men push up here. You men get behind cover and engage the enemy. Gonna have to try and charge them because we've got the advantage in bayonets, but muskets not so much. We've killed their general though. Come on. Don't run the wrong way. Don't cheat me now, game. So we've charged them in the rear. That should cause them further upset. I said your job is to you men take cover. You men get back into the action. Your job is to stand here and shoot the enemy with the muskets. Trouble is, it's those pikemen. If we can rout those pikemen, that will help to no end. Good. Broken. Push on, hit the militia. Broken. Regiment of horse. is going to be broken. Charge on and hit the militia there. They broke again. To be honest, they don't want to get behind the wall. It just doesn't seem like it wants to work like that. These units have recovered. So get them back into the mix. Militia have broken here. You guys have come back as well. Right, we can we got an we got opportunities here. Form a line. We 
We got opportunities. It's four mower. New men get into position. Okay, at the very least you're doing damage to the fourth. They're shaken as it is. The fifth regiment, however, yeah, I thought they'd be upset because they're now the ones being isolated. And let's put these guys at an angle to get more muskets in the action. Go on, you men. The unit's still running. Good. Okay, let's try get get more troops to surround them. You guys might make the 4th Regiment route. But you can engage the 4th. Yeah, my guys are also upset. But at the very least... This is the commander's... Oh no, they're not even shooting. Another unit's come back. No, I hate it when they do that. They start snaking around and you just want to be like, why the hell are you doing that? Just open fire on the enemy, especially you guys. You guys should be... There's one guy at the back that's causing them to slow down. Okay, so now, if the Hanoverians want to come and get me, they got to come at me now. It looks like we are going to push back their uh, force over here. Got good ammunition reserves. Fire! Huzzah! I think those guys, I was going to say, I thought those guys might be stuck. I know what to do. This infantry unit, book it towards our front. Just run and draw them over here, at least, if nothing else. Okay, you men are picking apart the fifth, which is not surprising, because you've only got 66 men remaining. Now let's let them... Let these guys break. I mean, they could. These guys could well route just from the exhaustion. <laughs> Ideally, you'd want another unit to come around here and start to shoot their flank, but I don't think we're gonna have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Come on, fifth. So you men advance. To be honest, these all of these units are now at a similar strength level. Come on, all of you.
And you men run up here and start shooting them. Yep, you guys can line up all you like. You're the ones that have to come and get me. And we're about to isolate another unit. God, that was a hell of a scrap right there. You guys might go push up between the buildings. These units can engage the first from here. You men flank up and far into the rear. 13th are being engaged. The sooner they get into position, the sooner they start firing. Although there's one argument that says maybe I should make them stop running. But part of my strategy is to make not allow the first regiment to focus on any one unit. Now they're engaging our line. So let's try and push back the first regiment of militia. Yeah, we're doing damage. They don't like... They're technically getting shot in the back by these guys. Push up, see if we can get a few more muskets into the action. The 11th have broken, the 3rd are wavering. To be honest, these guys have carried the action here for a while. The main goal being I want to try and get these guys back up to some sort of strength. But I don't think I'm going to get that. New men fall back. Fall back to the cover of the trenches. Hightail it back, ignore the battle. And these three units, with their relatively strong position, can focus on trying to surround the enemy as they get to us. Because they've only got a couple of units. Some of those routing units may actually come back. It's always a chance. Wish I still had my gunners. They'd have been handy. Well, sort of handy. But once we get into cover... That'll really help. Because then we can slam a, our right flank forward and start to cut them up. Although, to be honest, we will win this musket battle anyway. Unless you do things like this and climb up on top of the battlements. Because you're ju oh, they're just out of range. Let's bring up my right flank. Especially as these guys have all... St these guys have stopped for some reason. Bring up my right flank to pour... Musket fire into the first regiment of militia. Really doesn't help that it takes so much effort for my men to climb over the barricades. Come on, Hanover. You you attacked me. Don't know what you think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit here and wait for you to come into range so I can maneuver against you and cause you to rout. That's what I'm gonna do. That's my master plan. County Militia and Lanvair Militia. And here they come. Well, <laughs> I say that. At least they are going to hopefully actually rout. Two units of Militia. See, they're shaking immediately. Whoa, my guys are not happy. At least they're behind cover. Fall back. Don't want the sick. Ah, oh, I was about to say, don't want the sixth to rout because they've got all of the strength.
They are my strongest unit. They've crept within range of a couple of other units now. There you go, I was going to say, your, the combat should start to get into our favour because we're behind cover. These guys are going to stay out of cover for now. Because we want them to engage the enemy. And I would very much like if you men could make the fourth route by firing into their flank. Get into position. Make ready. Aim. Okay, I think we need need to stick by and cover. We just don't have any sort of strength. Otherwise... Can you even engage them at that range? You can. It's too bad though, I think this might... It's going to end up being a... Morale loss. Uh, my guys aren't going to have the staying power they need. Or the... Oh, I don't know, actually, the fourth route. I mean, I'm only speeding this up because... <laughs> How long can we just watch these two lines just pop shots off at each other. Because the fourth? Yeah, the fourth have routed. Okay, my lines are routing, so I need to... Oh, the fourth came back. There we go. Just get everyone into cover. But I think fundamentally, too, we've just had too much damage done to our lines. We can't withstand the fire. Ooh, I left clicked rather than right clicked, fortunately. Steady. Wavering. Yeah, it's a morale thing. We just can't, we just don't have the the strength. Back you guys go as well. Damn, down to two damn last units of militia. God, damn, damn, damn. Back to Dresden you go. Oh wait, you've gone completely the weird way. At least they didn't pursue us. That's something we can build on. Fortunately, I didn't... Yeah, well, thank God I didn't throw my garrison from Munich into there. Oh. I've got a couple of line units recruited back here. But... Oh, no, you've actually got quite a good little army there. Certainly not enough for me to threaten you, but I'm going to want to push my troops up to support. All of my men are going to go... All of my money is going to go into replenishing my army. Three grand next turn. Oh, God, curse you, Hanover. Don't even have a... I'm going to try kill your gentleman. And... <laughs> oh, thank God he actually did it. Oh, good. I thought he died. <laughs> I thought that was classic. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for my Empire Total War Let's Play as Bavaria. Cheers, everyone.